We're concerned about the violence, the activities taking place in our neighborhood, and we're tired. We're tired of it. How can we better the conditions in our own community if we don't pull it together, speak out against what is hurting our community, what is hurting our children, what is hurting our seniors? How can we better the condition for a more safer place to live? Yes. If we don't come together, Newport and 28th to make a better Street. change, a better difference for the betterment of our own community. No longer can we allow bad activity to take place Preach, my brother. in our own neighborhood. Say it again, my brother. We want our children to walk down the street peacefully. Yes, sir. Using guns is not the solution. Well. Taking a man's life is not the solution. Yeah. Selling drugs is not the solution. Turn around. We need to clean up our neighborhood. As you look around, you got paper on the street. You got bottles on the street. Yeah. Shall we keep our neighborhood looking like that? No! No, no. no. We, we supposed to be about better than the condition, more safe yes, for sir. our environment, yes, for sir. a more clean and wholesome place to live. Yes, sir. That's Colonial <coughs> Avenue down there. Where the we want to sit on our porch. Is. Yes, sir. We want to grow flowers, plants in our neighborhood. Yes, sir. We want our grandchildren to walk down the street peacefully without worrying about a bullet yeah. coming towards yes. them. Yes, sir. That's not the way. Well, hey. We want our little grandchildren to smile yes, sir. and run towards you and kiss you and hug you. Yes. I want my daddy. I want my mama. Yeah. That's a very good feeling. Preach my brother. Is yes. that right? So how can we expect yes. a better environment yes, when we allow these bad, corrupt activities to take place in our community? Yes, we should be policing our own neighborhood. Yes. We wonder why the police ride by. Well, maybe we do the right thing. We were at the way about them riding by. Huh? Yes, They're trying to do a yes. job like we're trying to do. Yes. yes. So if we can better the condition of our neighborhood, yes, sir. maybe the police department will stay out of our community. Yes, sir. But they got a job to do. Yep. Yeah. So we worried about the pope. -po. We worried about this. We worried about that. Well, yeah. stand up. We're asking you all. We're asking every one of you to take a stand. Yes. Amen. Stand up with us. Walk with us. Walk for morality. No more shootings. Walk for peace. Walk for dignity. Walk for integrity. Yes, sir. Stand up with us. Amen. And a block away, that's where I work, is that building right there, the beige building with the red trim. Morality. Yes, sir. That's the stand we need to take. Huh? Yes, sir. Instead of about being united. Yeah. That's the first step to take. Unite together. Yes, sir. On the one brotherhood. Well. On the one sisterhood. Yes, sir. And it's mm -hmm. all called unity. Yes. Unity. Yes. Unity. Yes. unity. Yes. That's the only way. Let us unite. On the oneness. Yes. One order. One rulership. Yes. Can we do it together? Yes, sir. Yes. What you have here today is the community of people yes. that are concerned. We are concerned, really and we're going to move around yeah. wherever it takes us to move around there. Yes. And we are yes. inviting you to take a stand with us. That's the only solution. I got deja here. Don't mm -hmm. hide. Don't stay away. <laughs> Come stand with us. That's hey, the solution. Right. No hey. longer can we no allow. More fuel. <clears throat> no more fuel. No more fuel. To overtake us. Yes, sir. We should be a self-controlled community, responsible.
<laughs> tired from having to bury my patrons and people that I know, too. All right. Anybody else? Who we got? Huh? Bring it on. Brother Jay. Yeah. How y'all doing today? <clears throat> All right. Time and time again, we coming together on a sad note. <clears throat> It, it's keep happening all the time, over and over again. And I sit home and be frustrated. Now I can be a part of the solution, not part of the problem. Because That's why I this stuff be. has to stop. This hatred has to stop in our community. But when a white man kill a, 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 a innocent black man, this corner would have been packed. You couldn't even get in park place. Uh -huh. But when a black man kill another black man, we don't get no support. That's right. The hell is going on right here? What is going on? Just like the other, uh, we got another black man was killed in Connecticut by a police officer. One in Charlotte this past week. They all protesting. They protesting like heck out there right now. But when another black man kill another black man, oh, it's all right. It's all right. With me, it's not all right. No. Because I'm going to continue to stand up every which of the way, every step of the way. Rather, if I'm in a wheelchair on crutches, I'm going to continue to be out here. Because it it, it, this ain't making no sense. I don't care what preacher follow me on here or what governor or whoever. I want them to hear this. I used to be quiet a long time ago. I used to be in my corner, but not no more. My family don't want me out here. But thank God my niece is out here today with me, standing with, stopping the violence. I don't care what they say about me. I don't yeah. care. I can live on the street. They can put me out. Because I'm going to continue to stand my ground for my people. I was threatened not too long ago. And I'm still out here. And I'm going to continue to be out here. Because I'm not scared of nobody. Nobody can stop me. No damn body can stop me. So stop the hate. Stop the damn hate. Yes, I said damn. I said again. Stop the damn hate. Stop it now. Stop it now. Who gonna threaten me now? Who gonna threaten me? I'm gonna still be out here. I hit my teeth now. I'm gonna still be out here. I'm gonna continue to be out here. And the devil in hell gonna stop me. He never gonna stop me. I've been through enough in my life. I will never shut up. I never shut up. I never shut up. I will never shut up. Threat me you want to. I never shut up. I never shut up. Yeah, take a deep breath, James. Sorry, huh? Take a deep breath. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 How old was the victim? About 18 or 19. Another child. I, I thought so. I, unfortunately. so passionate about these things. And yeah. And then we were alive. But we got to figure out a way to stop letting this stuff hurt us. Mm-hmm. 
and I I was abused as a child too. So not by my dad. Right. Uh, it was my mom. But and as she left, my sister and I, she just packed up her stuff and left. But um, we've all had our struggles <laughs> with child abuse. Yes. Yeah. Now they they trying to put me on the bus, man. <laughs> I won't go stay in my corner and shut up for nobody no more. Well, I don't blame you. Well, it's part of why I wanted to come, but also because it's probably one of my patrons again, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Right. I, w I work in that in that library over there, at part, uh, in that multi-service center. Right. And this is like the... I lost track of how many patrons I've lost to, to murder and people that I know now. Because I've been there for 10 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. I work with children daily, and a lot of them have gone to abuse and family members being murdered and hurt and things like that. So yeah. this is something that's very, very, you know, passionate for all of them. That's why I'm, I feel bad. I, I feel bad whenever because I have anxiety disorder. Right. And I. I How y'all doing? I, I feel bad whenever I snap at people because yeah. I don't do it on purpose. The yeah. Gosnold Avenue. <coughs> <coughs> Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Nobody's gonna touch, nobody's gonna do no harm, P.L. No, not today, not while the pandemic is Not any day. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I told James all about where I come from. I'm from, from Springfield, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. And for, what, for about 15 years or so, I lived in the inner city up there, too. Uh -huh. And uh, the so-called, well, I lived behind the slums. Oh, okay. And uh, you know, I, I know how it's like up there, but some, sometimes I get that way. And, but I still, you know, I still stand up and defend my friends and family. You know? Yeah. I can still fight. I just don't like to do it. I don't either, but I'm going to do what it is. That's how everybody feels. Yes. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your Three of 
Every man I see Tavion was accountable signed, put his name on it too. for their own mistake. Everybody. Everybody's a killer on this whole world. When you die, when you die, you people keep thinking you're going to sleep. You're not going to sleep. You're not going to sleep when you die. Your spirit got to go somewhere. So you, so you got so to know where you're going. You got to know what you're doing and know what you're going at. And that's all I'm going to say. Thank you. Thank you all for this day. Come together, everybody. Come together. Thank you so much. Thank you, sister. Brother Mike, you would like to uh, come to the microphone, please. How's everybody doing? Everybody good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, it's sad that we have to come together in okay, situations I'll... like this, and I want to apologize for my brother being a little bit uh, emotional, but um, it's valid, you know? Yeah. It's very valid because we have this going on, and it's been going on. And once again, we come out, we talk, we say what's up, we, uh, we try to get the understanding of the people, we try to uh, put out a message to the people, and then we come back again the next week, the next month, and we got to go through the same situation. How you doing? <laughs> All right. What I want to let everybody know, and no disrespect to anybody, but I'm not going to preach to you today. This is, we were kings and queens, and we still are. All yes. Right? Before we even, before I even speak to y'all about anything to do with any type of uh, religion or God, we are black people. All right? We are black people, and religion has divided us for the longest time. You got the Muslims that won't work with the Christians. You got the Christians that won't work with the Muslims. You got the Protestants that won't work with the other Christians. You got the Baptists that don't work with the Catholics. You got... As you can see, we're constantly divided from each other. Before anything, we are black people. These are our neighborhoods. These are our communities. We need to get together, like Brother uh, Bilal said, unity. Now, we always talk in unity, but we never actually do it. All right? We need the community. Once again, I'm Mike Payne of the original Black Panthers of VA. By all means, give me a call. We have plans. We have programs that we can introduce to the children. We have a whole lot going on. We can help, but we need the community. We can't do it alone. We can patrol as much as we want. We can't see everything. You know, we need the community. I want everybody to stop being scared to protect themselves and protect your children. You can't be scared. I know everybody said they got a little gangster in them. Well, where is that? You can't be scared. You cannot be sitting around talking about, oh, this happened, this happened. I ain't going to, you know, say that. You got to say something. Because when it comes knocking at your door, you want your relative to have justice. So you need to speak up. It's nothing wrong with protecting your community and your home. If somebody raided your house, you would want that home protected. You would defend that home. So this is your home, and we have to stop looking at things as individuals. It takes the whole entire community, the whole village, as they say, as King Rick says. Yep. All right? It takes the whole village. So that means that house down the street, that house down there, and the one across the street. Protect each other. Protect these young queens, these kings. Amen. The kings need to start standing up and helping out the queens. You know? If we don't do that and we don't protect our women, it's going to be a problem. It is a problem. All right? We, we, we got to be there for the queens and especially to show the little ones how things need to go. Now, I know a lot of things start at home. All right? A lot of things start at home. Everything starts at home. You wake up there and, you, you know, hopefully if you're blessed, you return there at night. All right? Now, when you, and I've heard this a lot. When you're calling your spouse those B words, when you're calling the king of that house the N word, all right? When you're doing this, your sons and your daughters see this. You're teaching them to devalue themselves mm -hmm. inside your own home. It's, it's demeaning. We went out and we fought against the, uh, the white nationalists, as they call themselves. Oh, yeah. It's really the Klan. But, you know, we fought against them already in D.C. 
And uh, they would love stuff like this. They love it. They love it. Oh, they love to see us tearing up our own community. They love to yeah. see us doing these things to each other. Okay? We can't keep allowing it. We have into the to do something about it. Who will do something about it, though? Is anybody going to call? Anybody. You know, here, matter of fact, this is what I'm going to do, too. Just so you all know. I'm going get it, to get it right, make sure I got it right. You got this new number. All right. This number is 757-214-2098. All right? 757-214-2098. You can also contact me, Black Panther Party VA at gmail.com. That is Black Panther Party VA at gmail.com. Now, I know I just put this information out, and I'm not going to get one call, nor am I going to get an email. Yeah. <laughs> that is absolute. All right? I would love it if it does happen, but it never does. So, we will continue to fight the good fight. Yes. Oh, yeah. We will continue to be in these neighborhoods. Yes. And we will continue to work with other people. And hopefully, you know, we can stop some of the violence. Now, I know we can put a Band-Aid on it. Oh, yeah. We can put a little patch on it. We can't stop it. We can't stop it unless we have your help. The community's help. We need everybody. So... What I want to say, and also, they always talk about black on black crime and black on black violence, right? Y'all hear about that? Black on black crime a lot? Oh, yeah. Right? Yep, every day. Do not be fooled. I do not want y'all to be fooled. Black on black crime and black on black violence is a loaded term, and it technically doesn't exist, okay? And y'all gonna say, are oh, you crazy? I see it every day. But let me explain something to you. You don't see white on white crime. No, you, you don't. You don't hear about Mexican on Mexican crime. No. You don't hear about Irish on Irish crime. You don't hear none of this type of stuff. Do you hear black on black crime? And the reason why you hear that is because that term is made for us. Because some people feel guilty about what has happened to us. So when they say black on black crime, they say, oh, well, you killed yourself. So therefore, you shouldn't feel bad that we're killing you also. Because you do it to yourself. That's all it is. But now, nah, don't let anyone fool you. We do love each other. And we do care for each other. We do have some misguided folks. We do have some misguided folks that worship money over themselves. I don't believe that money is the root of all evil. I don't. I believe that... I can't hear you. I believe that... You are who you are, and when you get that money, you either do good with it or bad with it. If you're a bad person, you're going to do horrible things with it. If you're a good person, you're going to spread the wealth, and you're going to share it with your brothers and sisters. That's how that works. That's right. I don't think the money makes them evil. I think they already had a sick heart. That's what I think. <laughs> but we need to do better as a people. We need to come together, and we really need to sit down and have some type of dialogue. If you're trying to get out of a gang situation, by all means, call that number I gave you. We can talk to you. We can help you. Don't be scared to stand alone. Don't just go around walking around with the with the uh, with the rest of the cattle. Don't be cattle. Be a lone wolf. That's what I like to say. All right. Don't be walking around just following. Don't be scared because you can't throw your hands and all that. So you got to join some type of some type of group or some type of organization, you know, that 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 that's supposed to protect you and and, and, and gonna keep you from the opposition. You know? Cowards pull guns and shoot people. Cowards. Yes. Cowards. Yes. So I want y'all to always we got somebody for them over there. Make sure they don't cross that street. They all right? Okay. I want y'all to just know that we are here for the community. We're here for y'all. That's right. And at any time, please, by all means, give me a call. We're going to be patrolling, as usual, oh, yeah. walking, talking to everybody. We need more kings and queens to, to also join in, in, in our organization because we need to spread out more. We all over. We, we, done, went, we done went three, three and a half hours to Auburn, Virginia, when they're out there playing uh, slave games with our children. Right. 
My daughter came home just the other day talking about John Smith and Pocahontas loved each other. This is what they teaching us in, in, in school. Foolishness. Everybody on that girl 10 years old, who she love? All right, they kidnapped the girl. But that's what they teaching our kids in our school. You know, so we have to do things to counteract that. You know? And a lot of people might say, well, what brother, what you doing? <laughs> right? Hey, I hear that a lot. So, you know, like I said, you could go, you could go to my site, and I even have a program, and we're going to be teaching it in the schools. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Where it's musical, uh, a musical disc that teaches black history, teaches the kids black history. We just put out a video game about black history, okay? Where the kids can learn. They can learn about Bessie Coleman. They can learn what happened to Emmett Till. You know, right. they can learn about these different things. Uh, exactly. So the, this is what we need. We need constant stuff to better our children, to teach our children. We need to teach some of their dogs too. Mm -hmm. Some of our grown folks is lost. I call it the sickness. <laughs> I call it the sickness because some of us don't even know we got it. You know, when we sitting up there worrying about stuff like, you know, when we sit around and say we got good hair, some of us say that. Why they say that? Because it's closer to the right. You know? You got to learn to love yourself. I have to teach my daughter to love everything about herself. When she watches TV growing up, she was seeing all the little princesses with the, you know, the nice little, you know, blonde hair and all that type of stuff. So she did, it was hard for her to identify with the love for herself at first. That's right. And that happens in a lot of households. You don't get to see that. So you have to constantly, constantly be on your children and teach them to love themselves. You have to. Because if they don't, they're going to grow up. If you don't, you're going to grow up without that love and they're going to strike out. Right. They're going to be lost. Yep. They ain't going to be able to identify with themselves. Nope. And if you can't identify with yourself, you can't identify with God. It's going to be hard. And you can't keep just praying. I'm tired of everybody saying we're going to pray about it. No. Without action, prayer, I don't know where they are. Faith without work is dead. You got to have action. Yes. We can't just say, stop shooting. How are we going to stop them from shooting? We have to stop them from doing these things. So they come to and discourage them. That's why they say that. Absolutely. And teach. Right. They stop glorifying yeah. the violence. Yeah, yeah. People see stuff. People see Chicago. And I used to live two hours from Chicago. All right. <laughs> you don't want this to be like that. I hear a lot of people saying, "Yeah, let's get like it." You don't want it to go there. I've been around organized crime. I know it. Organized gang and all that. I know what that's like. I know what it, what it look like when you have a whole block of the same color houses and all that. I know what that's like. I, I've seen all that and it is not pretty. It's, it's horrible and it's an every night constant battle. Yes. And it, your relatives are in it. And you, you, it's, it's a whole lineage full of it. You don't, want it. you don't want it to get worse than what it is. I know a lot of people say it can't get no worse. It really can. So we need to do what we can do to stop that is it put a plug on it. Amen. So like I said, I am Mike Payne of the original Black Panthers of VA. Yes, sir. We're here. Ow. And you can Lord. definitely contact us. And we'll do what we can for you. We'll come through. We can put a plan together. Right, yeah, but we need the community. One time I want to say, anybody else want to come up here? By all means. Yeah. 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 Hello. Um, my name is Gary. I know a lot of a lot of you in this neighborhood know who I am. I, I work right there in that building, about a block away from here. I'm I'm coming here because first of all, this is the way that I really actually am, and I get really upset when my anxiety kicks in. Uh, sometimes, you know, we all make mistakes, and I do some dumb stuff, um, and I don't want people to you know to think the think the wrong thing because I really really I'm I come from Springfield Massachusetts Holyoke my my I had a friend who was Irish she lived the street she lived on everything was boarded up except her house um, I lived there about 15 years something like that uh, I've, I've been shot at twice my mother my mother abused my sister um, no she abused me she abandoned my sister and I um, 
and um, right and, and I'm healing from traumatic brain injuries. Take your time. It, this, I've been at this library for about 10 years, and I've lost track of, unfortunately, how many patrons uh, or people that I, that I knew who've been shot and killed in this area. And it gets, it, it's very, it's very heartbreaking. I love my job. I love a lot of the people here. You know, people, sometimes they ask me what library I work at, and I say Park Place, and they're like, oh my God. I'm like, you know, there's a lot of great people in Park Place. And I really actually love being part of this community. So when something like this, this happens, even though I live in Ocean View, that don't mean nothing. Okay? I'm, I'm part Japanese and, and some other stuff. That don't mean nothing either. Okay? We're all human beings. We're, we're family here. I've been to a lot, of your, a lot of the reunions here. I get invited. Um, and, and I just, you know, and I, and, I mean, I don't know what, I mean, eventually I run out of words. Okay, I don't get, I don't get loud too often. Um, you know, it's, uh, there's, there's, there's better, there's, there's better out there. You need. To, we need to learn to stop glorifying violence. Yes. Yes. We need to teach people to put the guns down. There's a car coming behind you, um, and this uh, brother Billy Ali, there's a car coming, uh, and to stop the stop the violence. We need to look out for each other. One of the things about my my parents' divorce is. One of the one of the families that would come and take my my sister and I, so that we would be distracted. The lady was from Panama, and her husband is African American. Uh, one of my one of the accidents that caused me a tra one of my traumatic brain injuries, it was an African American bus driver who pulled me out of the street uh, for the Pioneer Valley Transit Authority. He said that I went under the wheels of his bus, but. I was unconscious, but it was him. He was so we, we need to look out for each other. I'm I'm used to and, and I love being able to look out for people like Brother James and and his family. I love his family very much. And and I love the fact that, you know, him and his fr family and his friends they, they look out for me. We all we all band together for stuff. And this is, you know, so this is not something that we should be, you know, we should not be seeing, um, pe we shouldn't be seeing people killing each other, period. That's right. That's right. And, and it's just, it, it, it when it's, uh, like the person said earlier, when it's black on black, unfortunately, I think that fits the stereotype of what a